What up, everybody? My name is Alana Trepler, and this is the ATD Show. Today, virtually from our studio, we are with Rose Hanley, CEO of the Little Bit Foundation. Rose, welcome to the virtual set. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Right on. All right, let's dive right in. Uh, tell me a little bit about the Little Bit Foundation. The Little Bit Foundation's mission is to serve students that um, are living in poverty. So our mission is to break down any barrier that stands in front of a child from receiving an education. Right now, Little Bit serves 14,000 students every week with a one-on-one -on -one personal interaction, identifying specific needs and those answering those needs, either through partnerships or direct service. Wow, that's incredible. So do you have, when you say one-on-one, -on -one, is that, do you have one person with Little Bit Foundation working with each individual child? Well, when school is in se session, we um, work within the school community. We have this very unique oh. model that we have a staff person and then a group of volunteers. And we go into the school, we work in the school atmosphere, in the school community. We work with the administrators identifying needs. And then once those needs are identified, we work one-on-one -on -one with the student. If we, they need shoes, we try the shoes on, on their feet. If they awesome. need school supplies, we deliver school supplies. If we're doing a book fair, we help the children pick out books. So it's very, very personalized, very respectful, very dignified. Wow, that's fantastic. So you're, these are 14,000 kids that you guys are serving. That's quite a lot. So what area do you guys work out of? So the Little Bit Foundation has, um, we started in St. Louis Public Schools. We have about 17 St. Louis Public Schools working in that community. We've also adopted a whole school district of Riverview Gardens. So that's close to 6,000 students that we serve in every school, having a presence in the school. We also have um, some charter schools that we work with, some nativity schools. Um, also a Normandy school and some um, Jennings schools. Now, do you work with the parents too? Well, you know, our mission is all focused on education. So we work with the parents through the administration of the school. So okay. they help us identify those families that may need extra support. They do the, um, have the conversation with the families and then we work directly with the kids. Very cool. What age range of kiddos do you work with? Just adopted our first high school this year. So it's preschool all the way through high school, walking with students through their educational career, making sure they have all the needs and support they need to be successful. Our end goal is more students graduating from high school prepared for next steps. You know, whatever their dream may be, it may be a military career, it may be a college, career. It may be working with the trades, whatever that is, we want to make sure that they have what they need to take that next step after high school. It's all about bringing the community together, making sure our kids, when they graduate, they have a path to be successful and helping them with that path. So with this whole COVID-19 thing going on, how has it affected the Little Bit Foundation and the services that you offer? Every day, we have to pivot and make changes. I could not be more proud of my team and the Little Bit Foundation because we continue to meet our mission even through this crisis and not being able to get one-on-one -on -one with our students or work within the school community. So we still are working with the districts. We're still identifying gaps of support that needed and we've been able to create models for a direct delivery to people's homes. So we know right now that um, food shortage is a great, great crisis here in St. Louis, um, mostly to those families that are marginalized. 
Little Bit created a program called Feeding Hope that identifies families that are in the biggest need, works directly with those families, and then has a delivery system to get the food directly to those families. We keep up with them every week. We tell them about other resources that are available. We continue to identify what they need. While talking with the school districts, we knew there was a gap um, and the, the families that couldn't get to the mobile sites, they were struggling the most. So what we do to empower and give these families what they needed through the crisis. So we created this and we continue to create every day because new obstacles come you know, are apparent and we have to figure out our way around those obstacles and meet the families where they are. Okay, so uh, how can we help? And what are your greatest needs right now? Can I, um, I would love just to, so it is Little Bit who has created this program, but it takes a community to make this successful. You know, um, Operation Food Search and the St. Louis Food Bank and Two Men in a Truck and um, the County Library and Pace Construction, these are all groups and nonprofits and companies that are coming together for our, our students, for our families. So it's just not a little bit, it's bringing everybody together, understanding the needs and answering those needs. So what do we need most? You know, this costs money. Normally I would say we need volunteers, but because of this distancing that we have to do, we have to work within certain parameters. So what we need is there, it's $150 for us to um, buy groceries for a family of four for a week. Um, it's $1,000 for us to serve that family for eight weeks. Every little bit counts whether it's $5 or $5,000, whether you can help one family for one week or you can help a family for eight weeks. We need your support. Um, we don't know how long this is gonna last with Riverview Gardens no longer um, having a drive-through system. The need is even greater. So wow. anybody who wants to join in and help, I would say just go to our website, um, look at what we're doing um, it's the littlebitfoundation.org. There's different ways to help. We also have a story time um, that we're bringing to our students on Facebook every night. And it airs at um, four o'clock on Facebook. If you'd like to read to our kids, go to our website and send us an email and let us know. Um, we can set up a training, you can read a book and we can post that on our Facebook. It's just loving each other. It's just bringing communities together and it's doing what we can to help each other through this crisis. Wow. wow. Okay. okay. So, so the, the, you, guys you guys would prefer, prefer to have, have the money so you, so you can, can go, go buy the groceries, the groceries for, for those specific, specific families. families. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Uh, are, there are there any other ways, ways that, that we can help, help any other needs that these families might have? have? We're also doing some um, virtual drives through Amazon because what we're doing is we're packaging these care kits and we're delivering them to sites. Hygiene items are hugely requested items. Um, if you go to our website and you look under what the drives are going on right now, you can purchase um, a tube of uh, toothpaste. That's a huge help. You can help us purchase books to deliver to our students. There's so many different items that we need. Um, if you like to shop, you can shop this way and help help our kids that are in need. Um, if you like to read to kids, you can do a video. If you just want to help with Feeding Hope, make a donation on our, on our um, website. We want everybody to jump in and help. Uh, do you have a message for your students and the families involved with the Little Bit Foundation? No, I have a message to our community. You know, while this is a very difficult time, I believe it's bringing us closer together. I believe that we're understanding each other a little bit more. I believe that we all want to help each other. And I just want everyone to know how grateful, how incredibly grateful we are for your support, how grateful um, we are to be able to continue to support our students 
Um, I want to say to our students, we're going to get through this. We're here for you. We're not leaving. We have your back and we love you. Um, thank you to everybody who gets behind what we're doing. Thank you for your kind hearts. And it takes a community to make a difference. Well, that just about says it all. <laughs> thank you so much, Rose, for being on the show today. And uh, we'll touch base again in the next couple months and see how everything else is going, see how everything has evolved through all this. And if there's anything that you need that we are able to help with, please let us know. Oh, could I ask something? Yes. Um, would you mind sharing, if you follow us on Facebook or if you follow us on Instagram, could you mind just sharing with your friends? I, I really believe the more people that know about us, the more people will get behind what we're trying to do. And that, you know, the more people know, the more people will get together and help our kids. That's what we're here for. So grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing for our kiddos. From the virtual ATD studio for Rose Hanley and the Little Bit Foundation, my name is Alana Trepler. Ta-ta for now, everybody. Oh,